What's up everybody, it's Wolf and Charm 3, Charm 3 Gamer here, back with more WD2K16, 2K Showcase, it's episode 20! We'll be having Ricky the Dragon Sumo and Dustin Rhodes versus the Name Forces. Battle for the Champion 17 for the WCW Tag Team Championship, let's do it! Larry Zabisco, the Steel Man from the Steel City. Another 2015 WWE Hall of Fame inductee. One guy really Zabisco care about. There began his career in the early 1970s under the tutelage of his era. famous mentor, Bruno Sammartino. Perhaps the closest friend you have in professional wrestling will make reference to Larry Zabisco. Just a phenomenal, phenomenal athlete, and I'm very proud of him. With a natural ability in the ring, the living legend reached new heights in the world of sports entertainment, becoming a two time AWA heavyweight champion. The new heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Zabisco! A decorated singles champion, Zabisco set his sand. Yet in the midst of their corrupt confidence, it was a surprise announcement like that would change project. everything. And I want to introduce Dustin's I'm going crazy! Oh. Will the newly formed team of Rhodes and the Dragon emerge victorious? Let's find out. Let's find out, baby. Dustin Rhodes and Ricky the Dragon against the Enforcers. Which is funny because I thought the Enforcers only came in with somebody else. Whatever. Anderson and Zabisco are the masters of the proverbial game of human chess. And they must adapt here. They must make some adjustments to account for the, the in-ring style, the quick style, if you will, King, of Ricky Steamboat. Now, I don't know about Amen that, JR. I think they have to do the same thing that brought them to the World Tag Team Championship. And that's relentless double teaming and keeping the opponent in their corner. Either way, they cannot come unglued. They cannot let the presence of the dragon get into their heads. That is definitely true. If the Ricky gets in your head, it's Look all over. This. Right to the body. Ricky going right after Double A R Anderson. Or Arm Anderson is actually fun because he targeted the arm so much. Ricky's like, here, have a kick to the back. Or an elbow to the back. We'll be back with more action in just a moment. Alright guys, we're back. Let's continue this match see what the hell happens. Galen Arn tagging the disco. Can't help, can't hurt to beat him around a bit more though. Nice he makes the tag. He the punch and now it's a Bisco tag again. With a cross body. Now that was huge. Damn straight it was huge. Next snap. A neck breaker rather. Back suplex. That's some the money over there. This drop. This drop. And another one. Like he's like, I'll beat up. I'll tag in Dustin when I'm done beating up on the Bisco here. Really stand up. I mean, see the tag on. He's inflicting some serious pain here. I 
backbreaker. Oh, that's that gotta can't feel good. That is gotta hurt that backbreaker. God damn, man. There's another roll right now. Ooh, DDT right to the head. That's gotta hurt. Look at this, JR. Yeah, WCW Tag Team Titles in the line here for Clash of Champions in Savannah. This Dustin Rhodes. Ooh, that bionic elbow. Oh. Ricky Steamboat against the champion. Arn Anderson and Larry Zabisco. And Dustin Rhodes in charge now. Dustin and Rhodes is cleaning man. up on the opposition with the tag titles on the line here. Hang on, Dustin. This match is a long way from being over. Don't gloat yet. Referee getting Dustin back in a neutral corner. Arn wants a timeout. What? You have yeah, exceeded yeah, yeah. your limit of timeouts, considering there are none, Arn. I didn't know you had timeouts in WCW. You don't. And Arn tags in Larry Zabisco. Oh, hi, Larry. I was a Bruno <laughs> in Chase Stadium in 83. And now Larry's here. <laughs> he makes the tag. I got tagging Ricky. Quick tag there. And now he's back out onto the apron. Watch it. Ooh, that didn't hurt. Whoa. Ow. Right off the he stairs. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. That'll, hurt. That'll smart for a bit right off the stairs. Three. Back in the ring now. Uh-oh, what's Arn going to do here? Suplex. Mm. Now that's the kind of hit that can put you in the hospital. That's another dangerous suplex right there. Actually trying to get up. Oh, out of nowhere! Nice counter. Oh man, that'll scramble your insides. Top rope move. Now Ricky going to the top. Going for it. And he hit it. He's going to need an ice pack in the locker room tonight. One, two, three. We've got new tag champions. New WCW tag team champions. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners and new world tag team champions. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and the natural Dustin Rhodes. I did not see that coming. Ricky Steamboat. Steamboat and Rhodes are new tag team champions. And look at that. Arn Anderson, Larry Zabisco taking the walk of shame. We'll be back for more in just a second. From one WCW show to another, and Suzuki Fujinami faces the nature of Rick Flair to the first WCW Super Show for the WCW Championship. Here we go. From Japan. Fujinami's reign in Japanese pro wrestling spanned three decades. Damn. The legendary Lou Thez called Fujinami one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. In 2015, Fujinami was paid the highest honor when he was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. I have the honor and the privilege of inducting a Japanese wrestling legend. This man is a household word when he speak of wrestling. He's the greatest wrestler in the history of Japan. It is my honor, ladies and gentlemen, to induct Tatsumi Fujinami into the WWE 2015 Hall of Fame. In 1991, all eyes focused on Tokyo as WCW presented a dream card of epic proportions. Battle lines were drawn. Fujinami would face fellow WWE Hall of Famer Ric Flair in front of nearly 65,000 fans. Whoa, Fujinami, I thought. Defeat the man. Big you gotta beat the man. In the main event, two men would walk in champions, but only one would be victorious. Whoa, now that is drama. Drama right there.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is introducing first from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing 243 pounds, the Nature Boy, World Heavyweight Champion, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, one of the most decorated competitors of all time, as well there as that. Perhaps, the dirtiest player in the game. <laughs> he certainly is accomplished, JR, but oh, yeah. you have to wonder what's going through his mind as he enters potentially hostile territory here in Japan. It is hostile territory. And here comes Fujinami. <coughs> From Japan, weighing 238 pounds, Tatsumi, weight champion, Tatsumi Fujinami. Tatsumi Fujinami getting a hero's welcome as he prepares to battle Ric Flair for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. And like Flair, Fujinami is an incredibly decorated competitor, JR, as well as a highly dangerous man who has innovated many of his own signature maneuvers. Indeed, here we go. Fujinami and Flair, it's time. All right, guys, Tazumi Fujinami and Ninja Bull Ric Flair. Here we go. Home field advantage certainly favors Tatsumi Fujinami here in this one, King. Yeah, and on top of that, Ric Flair will be going against one of the most ingenious offenses of all time. An offense that has earned Tatsumi Fujinami mm, the nickname The Dragon. The Nature Boy certainly has his hands full here tonight. But if anyone could find a way to beat Tatsumi Fujinami here tonight in Japan, it's Ric Flair. Also, keep in mind, King, that a stipulation for this match includes that you cannot throw anyone over the top rope or you will be disqualified. That was a big slam right there. Let's actually test that, see if it actually lets you throw him over the top rope. Nope. They literally bounced him off the ropes. You cannot throw them over the top rope in this match. Nice, nice decision to realism there. I heard now he's talking a little bit. I don't know why the crowd's booing him in his hometown in Japan, but whatever. Oh, out of nowhere! Those ribs are being tenderized like a barbecue brisket. <laughs> Aim into that chair. There, he's defeating the hell out of Nitch. That's gonna drop him a little elbow action. Now, a German release suplex. He's in the driver's seat. And now Fujinami's getting a little bit pumped right now. Oh, nice counter by Nate. Turns it around on him, and what a move. Easily avoided. And that Ooh, shot right may there. be broken, folks. Knee drop. Jumping knee drop. Nate has got to be feeling it right now. So if going to come up with this time. Ooh, a little snake ass. Double underhook. Suplex. And jump and knee drop one more time. Boom. He's in full on attack mode now. Let's see what his signature there, shall we? Okay, signature, ankle, clutch, prawn hole too. Get wrench suplex. Okay, let's do the get wrench. Oh, this will bring everybody to their feet. That's Big it. slam. He's out. And now we'll set up for the finisher. Finisher is either a dragon suplex or a dragon sleeper. So we'll do dragon suplex. Get Nage to his feet. At least up to his feet. Turn him around. Oh, this is not going to be good. Suplex. One, cover, two, Flair got his foot on the rope. Flair's got his foot on the rope. Smart move here, my name. Tatsumi Fujinami thinks he's got the win. No, Flair's foot was definitely on the rope. It absolutely was. And now the Nature Boy, the dirtiest player in the game, trying to get a little hot in the kitchen. What a top. 
Now it's a chop rule. Ow! It's chop pepper. Out no one wants to see a count out here. And I hate those chops, but Flair is the master of delivering them. Look at this! Oh, there goes the rim. The referee inadvertently just got ran over. And look at this! The roll up! Fujinami's got the roll up, but nobody there to count. Flair and Fujinami tied on the line. Oh, backside, JR, backside, he's down! And at one! Two. Well, flares up. There's no referee. Another roll. Some help out here. Inside cradle. Again, no, no one there. No one's there to count, obviously. Thumbs in the air. These guys are pulling out all the stops, but we need an official out here. Aid one quick. Yeah, that's working. Oh, what, what's he doing here? Oh. I think this man means business. Oh, that shot. Yeah. There's what a match here. Flair, Fujinami, you were oh, there. There he goes. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wait, the elevation the referee is down. Fujinami elevated Flair over the top rope. That would be a disqualification. Yeah, this thing should be over right now. Is there the a referee chance? saw it, King. And now, oh, suplex. And Flair suplex back into the ring. That's got Outside it. back in. Nature Boy Rick Flair being taken to school here. Back cradle. And One, two. He got him. A dominant stretch. And what? What the hell just happened here? He is still down. This replacement ref has made the count. And look at this. There's that trophy. There's the world championship. And after that wild finish, we'll see the Butch Rockers and the National Athletics to take you down in the next episode. Until next time, we're from Country. Come to you going to turn it up. Remember to be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to me on the channel. And as always, keep it charming.